Hello everyone, this is Jono and welcome to my preview on the stuff that has been previewed for the next patch coming out that does not include cards because we're not getting cards, which is annoying, but the point is we're getting other stuff, including uh, a new game mode, uh, some new skins and two major additions to Hearthstone, two and a half, but mostly two. The first major addition is your friends list can now support 200 people. It's amusing that it's taken them this long. It's like the technology just wasn't there yet. You could not have more than 100 people on the list. Now you can have 200, which means we can finally put an end to all those people complaining that they have to keep deleting people off their friends list for two weeks and then we're back to it. But the point is you can have 200 people before you have to delete now instead of 100, which is good. Not sure how much of a difference it's going to make, but it's good. Then we have new heroes. We have three new heroes. Now, these are not to be confused with new classes. These are not the same thing. Heroes are people like Jaina and Malfurion, as opposed to classes which Mage and Druid, basically. So, these are not new classes, which was amusing, because when they announced Magmi, I was like, oh my god, it's a new class! And no, it's a hero. But people just kind of smashed them together, and that's how they looked at it. So anyway, these portraits come with their exclusive card backs, which you can see here in the second major feature, a way of selecting your card backs that does not put make you age. Okay, so go on to Hearthstone. For anyone who's been playing since Season 1, this is where the effect is the biggest. Go on to Hearthstone, go into the Options menu, set your card back to the most recent one, and then try and scroll back to the blue one. It will take you a very long time. I'll wait. I will wait. It will take you the entire day. Not quite, but the point is it takes a long time to scroll through. And as someone who likes switching their card backs a lot, this is aggravating. But there's been some changes to card back selection. The first thing is they have put it in the deck builder. They put your nice nifty cards back selection in the deck builder and you can scroll through everything and it's amazing. Because it means you can actually see it while you're doing it. It also puts them side by side so you can compare which one you want more, more easily. The other thing that you can see is that card backs are customizable for each individual deck. Which makes sense because they've got exclusive ones for each of the skins. And as a result, it means you can customize easier your decks and make them all look fancy. So you can have your Hunter one with the Alira card back. And you can have your Mage one with the new unique Medivh card back. Things like that. So I'm very happy about the way they've done card backs. Now, the new heroes that have been announced, I mentioned two of them already. Alira Windrunner for Hunter. Three new heroes. Uh, Medivh for the Mage. And Magni Bronze... Is it Magni Bronzebeard? I've got a feeling if I butcher those people are going to get annoyed with me. It is Bronzebeard. Okay, it's Magni Bronzebeard. No lore checks on me. But anyway, so yeah, they've announced those three. Magni is for the Warrior. So, this, in my opinion, is a cool new step. It's got the new skins and everything. However, the amount of backlash they've got from this is off the scale. It is the most amount of backlash I've ever seen to any cosmetic upgrade in a lot of games. Never seen anything that bad. Again, I haven't seen everything, so some of you may have horror stories when it comes to cosmetics, but yeah. Basically, these things cost $10 each. It's fairly pricey. Yep, $10 is a lot for a skin and a card back. I mean, we don't know how much it costs for them to make these things, because I guess they have to have unique art assets for both and do animations on the heroes at least. But I think they, I mean, if they were like $7, I'd be happy, and then you made like a deal where you could buy all nine for $45, that'd be cool, because then you'd save like 30% or something. Maybe that'd be good. 10 is too much. Spending $90 on heroes is a bit sketchy. $90 is what a lot of people that are on the higher end of spending spend on an entire card set. So it's a little sketchy there, considering one of them, and I mean full card set, I don't mean adventures, like full card sets. So, yeah, I'm, I'm a bit sketchy on the pricing there, however, I know this is very hard to accept, people, but it does not affect your game in any way if you can't buy it. 
This has been something which people just can't comprehend. It's kind of hilarious, actually. People are complaining about this one more than they did for the Tesla card back, and most people can't even get the Tesla card back. You have a way of getting this if you really, really want to. But the point is, unless you really want to put the money down to get it, you can ignore it. It does not affect you in any way, apart from irritating you when someone else has it. But the point is that it does not affect your gameplay at all, so stop complaining about it. Yes, they're money grubbing, but it's a cosmetic upgrade. It's not like they just doubled the price in packs or something. Like, seriously. So anyway, the final and most major announcement is the Tavern Brawl new game mode. Now, before we go into Tavern Brawl, I want to talk a little bit about how they unveiled this new game mode. So, as uh, some of you who have been paying attention to Reddit and such uh, over the past couple of years, every so often everyone goes in a craze about what the button could be, which is this mythical button at the bottom that they never filled in in the UI. And I was thinking, hmm, what could it be, what could it be? I'm missing his tournaments, right? And, uh... And then everyone gets bored of the conversation and comes back three months later or something. The point is everyone's on about it over and over and over and over and over again. So Blizzard have decided to use the button and they put this on their Facebook page. They're using the button for something and the button appears and it's going to be miraculous. Now the response to this was everyone saying, oh my god, it's tournament mode. They're finally releasing tournament. Literally everyone I talked to, apart from one guy, uh, was talking about tournament mode. The other guy I talked to, by the way, was talking about replay channels for spectator mode, which would have been cool, but the point is that everyone else is thinking tournament modes, and build tournaments, we can customize lobbies in-game, uh, set up spectating matches really easily, and that was, that was what a lot of people were talking about, most of the people I talked to, in fact. So, then Blizzard comes out with their new wonderful game mode, called the Tavern Brawl. Now, the Tavern Brawl is something where you go into the tavern brawl and there's a list of restrictions on deck building. So you make your deck, you go into the tavern brawl, you challenge your friends, you get uh, ladder rewards and a classic pack for the first game in each week of the release event. I don't know how long the release event is, but the point is you get a classic pack. Now the funny thing is, this is a cool idea. But what's really amusing about it is because everyone thought it was going to be tournament row, they released this and the response was what is this? This is this is not what we wanted. This is terrible. The funny thing is, it isn't. But the problem is that everyone was expecting tournament mode, so as a result, everyone's kind of jaded about it. That and the um, whole skin pricing thing has kind of piled onto each other to the point where people are just aren't excited about the upcoming patch. Personally, I think they're good additions. But I find it hilarious that they got this much backlash over it for what is quite frankly good additions to the game. Now, the tavern brawls are using the same UI as Arena. So if we, this is a tavern brawl, the exact same UI as the Arena to the point when I don't know what's supposed to go here. The point is the deck comes over here. I don't know what this particular deck was supposed to be, but uh, the point is that the deck goes in here. And then you have something here that I do not know. I'm hoping this is not a blank screen, but the point is there's something here. And you can brawl a friend, which means I think you. I don't think you can. Ra can you randomly match against people? Head to head against another player. One week is preset decks. Hmm, that can be interesting. Uh, and then you have to make ones based on. Basically, it's random. It's just random deck building for random sake. Uh, confound in play. Oh, below the play, yeah, it's, it's its own button, you don't need to say that, but anyway. So the possibilities are endless, it's, a, it's supposed to be a casual mode from what I can tell, which I'm fine with, because actual casual is not casual. Uh, as a lot of us that have been doing videos I've been talking about for a while, casual mode is not casual. It's just people grinding gold. You can brawl with buddies as well, which I'm guessing you can, oh, you can challenge people to tavern brawls. We should do tavern brawl tournaments. Hmm. Can we do Tavern Brawl Tournaments? Does anyone want to see Tavern Brawl Tournaments? We're already running Limiteds on Fridays, but does anyone want to see Tavern Brawl Tournaments? Because we can try that out. That sounds amusing. Have the, the Ace Breakers brand of tournament running. Uh, if anyone's interested in that, put it in the comments, and uh, I'll, I'll count it up and see if it's worth putting the effort into, because I might actually run tournaments for these, because if you can challenge each other to brawls, 
then it means that you can actually have people with deck lists winning tournaments. Or by complete luck, depending on the week. But the point is that it might be amusing. Run out of Swiss as well. That'd be funny. Hmm. Anyway. So you can challenge your friends. This will be in mid-June, which I'm guessing it's either this Tuesday or the 23rd, which is the following Tuesday. And it's going to be announced on uh, Facebook and Twitter. And then the rest is just the, the hero portraits. So, the Tavern Brawl seems like a decent idea. The problem is, what might happen if it's deck building is people are just going to net deck and go for it, and then it suddenly becomes less fun and more I must win. Uh, but we'll see. You can do your quests in there, so that's good, because most people do their quests in Arena or in Casual. I would not recommend doing it in Casual. Doing it in Arena is fine if you can get the hero. Otherwise, they kind of stack up. So being able to do them in here is good. And besides that, it's ladder rewards, so every three wins is ten gold. Okay, so that's pretty much it. The point is that it's completely random and casual. That's the idea. But the point is it's completely random and it's like a Pandora's box of game modes. Which I think is a very good idea. It's not tournament mode, but the point is it's a very good idea, people. Get over it. If they could fix spectator mode now, that'd be fantastic. Uh, spectator mode, has it fixed itself? I have not used it in a couple of days. I want to see if it's fixed itself today. Uh, uh, yeah, I think later I'm going to go check if it's fixed itself. But, uh, yeah, spectator mode is still broken. But the point is that they are advancing in other ways besides releasing cards. They're trying to make the game more complete, which is a good idea in my opinion. So, anyway, thanks for listening. For me, to like... Thank, wow, I messed that sentence up. Thanks, thanks for listening to me for the last 12 minutes talk about random stuff, which you've probably already seen before. Uh, now, in terms of other stuff going on, the Friday Night Limited Tournament is currently up in sign-ups, so I'll put sign-up link in the description as usual as I do with the video before the tournament. Uh, on top of that, I have been streaming a lot of Spellweaver recently, so if you want to watch Spellweaver then uh, you can check out my stream, and whenever I'm live, uh, I'll be streaming Spellweaver. With the exception of tomorrow, where I'll be streaming my uh, tournament run, and maybe casting the finals and semis, if I don't make it that far, of the uh, the limited like I did last week, and it was an absolute blast. It was a lot of fun, and uh, I think I'm going to be doing that as a tradition, just doing it every single tournament. So that will be tomorrow, if you don't want to play in the limited, which I would recommend. It's actually a lot of fun. Uh, but you just want to uh, go ahead and watch me make a fool of myself, then that will be at 7 British time tomorrow. So yeah, tune in for that. But anyway, thank you all for watching. If you like the content, please subscribe. If you have any feedback, put it in the comment section below. Bell Sinas Jono, signing off.